everyone. Welcome to MZ Lodge for another week. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cold and uh, windy here this morning. I don't know what's happened to summer, but anyway. Uh, a couple of runners last week, um, nah, they were pretty, uh, they didn't have a lot of luck at all. Probably took them to the wrong track. Uh, a couple of front running tracks and drew wide barriers and we had to go back on them and uh, they worked home okay, but uh, yeah, just didn't have much luck there. So uh, hopefully we can find uh, something suits, better suits next week. Uh, runners this week will uh, head off to Tarang on Monday, uh, take a little filly called Purple. Um, she ran second over a mile the other day, goes up to the 18.50, similar sort of grade. Uh, you would think that uh, if she can draw a gate and be half handy, she'll, uh, she'll be quite a live chance. A little bit of form in that race, so it might be a bit stronger than what a normal 58 would be. But anyway, uh, she's uh, in good nick and will go as good as she can go. Horse called Conciello, he's had a few little hiccups. He's really been affected by the heat, this horse, and uh, we've got him right. We had to change his diet and uh, put him on electrolyte courses, and um, he seems to be right, and his work was great. So he's ready to go back to the races. He'll step out at Tarang on, um, on Monday. A uh, horse called Dempezo, uh, he uh, just over raced over a mile the other day and didn't finish off as good as he should. He only got beat three or four lengths, but um, uh, yeah, we'll drop him back to the 1400, and that should really suit and uh, hopefully can sit off the speed and get home. And an absolute cracking little filly called GG Girl. She ran fifth, only beat a couple of lengths her first start and was steaming to the line, goes up to the 1400. Ironically, she's only had the one start and run fifth and uh, she's already in the ballot and she's number 30, something 33 or something in order of entry. So a little bit tough. Um, you're going to a maiden at Tarang and you've run second in a, uh, sorry, fifth in a, um, in a, a strong sort of maiden and you can't get a run. But anyway, we'll accept with her and see how we go. If not, she might have to go somewhere else. Um, Tuesday at uh, Kitan will step out a horse uh, called Spherical. He's uh, first up, he's had two trials, trial up good, he's ready to go to the races. Seven furlongs first up, will suit. Um, we'll ride him off the speed and work, speed and work him home. Um, you know, he's probably a mile, mile and a quarter horse. Um, you know, second up over a mile, I think, will be his go. But um, he's certainly ready to race. And on his trials, he'll be, you know, he can certainly run third or fourth or something at, uh, at good odds. And uh, four days of my life, uh, he couldn't be going any better. He's uh, the best I've seen him pull up from a run from his last start where he ran third. Um, he uh, goes to Kitan on Tuesday and uh, race should really suit him. He'll bounce and be in the first couple. And uh, geez, he's, um, he's really training on the old boy, so that's fantastic to see. On Wednesday at Sandown, I'll make a decision on Saturday whether we step out Calabarda. She had two weeks off and uh, she raced over a mile and a quarter at, Sand at uh, Mooney Valley and had no luck. Uh, had two weeks in the paddock and just thrived for that two weeks. So I'll just give her a gallop on Saturday morning and see where our fitness is at. If her fitness is okay, we might even um, uh, take her to Sandown on Wednesday over a mile and three-year-old fillies race, but that'll be really dependent on how she works. And uh, a little filly called Yolande, she uh, ran in the Will uh, William Inglis uh, Premier Race. Um, and the winner of that race, I think second or third favourite for the Blue Diamond. She was well beaten, but geez, her last 200 was really strong. Goes up to a 1200 metre race at Sandown. Um, once again, these will probably be a bit slick for her, but then look for her when she gets to 1400 or 1600. She, um, her sister um, won, a, um, won over 1800 and 2000 metres, and this filly looks very similar. She's a uh, pretty exciting young two-year-old filly when she gets to a mile, I think. So uh, this is the obvious next step for her, and uh, we'll step her out at Sandown on Wednesday. Yeah, a couple of really high quality fillies that we've uh, showed us a fair bit last time in. I've just come back into the stables, Kawa Bata. Um, she only had two weeks off. She ran a really good race at Mooney Valley and um, we put her away, just give her a little let up and uh, she's come back in and we'll be set for the three-year-old fillies races in the autumn. Uh, also a filly called Moralto, uh, you know, she ran four seconds her first four starts and, um, and then ran well down the track her last start. We put her out, give her a month off and she just absolutely thrived while she's in the paddock. Um, she uh, also will be set for the nice staying three-year-old fillies races in the autumn. Yeah, Macrobius is back in and up and going at his first couple of gallops this week and uh, he's uh, certainly, um, I would say, almost improved. He showed us, he won his first start in a race, showed us a heap and uh, he's come back in to get ready for the nice um, staying, staying races in the autumn. Yeah, pretty exciting times. We've, uh, we're doing an extension onto our stables and building a beautiful big American barn and going to put in an extra 10 stables here at the farm. Um, construction just started this week and uh, hopefully in the next six or eight weeks um, we'll, we'll keep you updated and show you some more footage of it. But it all started today and uh, can't wait to get the uh, new stable barn built. Yeah, Pete couldn't make it this week. He uh, went out of Tassie through the week and I think he's jumped off the overboard from the spirit of Tasmania on the way home because he's good thing and the week got beat last week. Anyway, he's asked me to do the tips for him this week and uh, he's uh, given us a tip in the uh, Blue Diamond. He said of the Brave, probably the controversial horse of the uh, Blue Diamond and uh, he, uh, he really likes it. He also said race two, horse two, politeness. He um, reckons it's the good thing of the, of the day. He's pretty happy about it and um, his value bet is race seven, horse nine, time for Julia, for, for um, Peter Moody. 
30. Uh, Pete said that that will be a, a, of good value and certainly worthwhile having a punt on. That's it for another week at Emsley Lodge. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks very much for all your interest in our yearlings that um, we purchased the last couple of weeks and uh, we showed recently on our videos. Um, there's been plenty of uh, interest in it, so uh, if anyone is interested in taking a share, and certainly the high chaparral filly, there's still a couple of shares available in her, um, yeah, by all means contact the office and uh, don't miss out because uh, we have had a lot of interest in her, which is great. Um, once again, uh, if anyone is interested in coming to the sales, by all means uh, contact us this week. Melbourne Premier Sale this weekend, and this is our big sales here in Victoria. So by all means, um, as I said, uh, it's irrelevant whether you want to buy a share in a horse or anything like that, but it's a great experience. It's something a lot of people don't get the opportunity to see is actually what goes on behind the scenes. And we're more than happy to, um, for anyone to come along with us and have a look at what we're looking for in yearlings, and uh, the whole experience is fantastic. Um, a couple of horses racing this week. Hope we have a bit, more, bit better luck than what we've had in the last couple of weeks. So until next week, see you later. The Geelong Thoroughbred Club are having their annual race day luncheon this Friday at Geelong. No, they're not, it's next Friday. Yeah, the Geelong Thoroughbred Club's having its annual race day luncheon. Uh, if you'd like to attend and have a good day and held by uh, the race, the, 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 the. Oh, hi everyone, welcome to Ramsey Lodge. Here's Pete Stipp. See you later and see you next week. Done. I think he's up at home right at the moment doing his tips. I'll cross his Pete for next week's, this week's tips. Okay.